enjoyed the singings and beautiful voice of John Hill. Album should be out very soon. I will link that down below when the time comes. But for now, I think that's it. Welcome to the new video. I actually got my own printer mainly for printing out to-do lists because your boy has a system. So these are my stock to-do lists. I cut this in half every day, take the half sheet. These are my main focuses. I have to finish all this in a month. These are the big, big goals that I should be covering, but who cares? These are three dudes who are inspiring me currently, and this is a quote that inspires me, and then I fill out the rest with my daily to-dos. Anyways, let's go out and about. Out and about? Oh, what the fuck? What you been doing? Getting this printer set up. It took me an hour. Yo, you should just like not do that though. Oh, true, man. Maybe I shouldn't have wasted my time like that, huh? Yeah. That's pretty dab. How was your interview? Good. I was on Kara from Hints Podcast. I'm hungry. Okay, so Sarah's telling me that it's raining outside. And if that's the case, we're gonna try as hard as we can to get something as fast as we can because New York. So I feel like I haven't gotten skate that much in the last couple of days. So I'm literally getting what I can as quick as we can because it's already drizzling. Crazy. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna last more than like 12 seconds here, but let's get what we can as fast as we can. So I'm not really sure why, but we haven't gotten kicked out yet, which is a really good sign. People are sort of leaving and just, I'm still listening to music, so it's really hard to talk out while I'm doing this. I would turn it off, but I feel like I should do more skateboarding. Since I'm here, I'm allowed to, I think. Let's set up another obstacle. This place is also right next to 368, which is where we're working, but I'm looking at this ledge right here. It's a little skinny, but it'd be cool to start from back there, go down this with my extracurricular skateboard, and then go over one of these trash cans right in front of this so that maybe we can do some tricks over it with this short run up. I don't know if I'm gonna get kicked out, but there's nobody coming. By the way, I understand sometimes in these moments when I'm rushing and going as fast as I can, that I may seem pretty insane or a little nutty inside. I just wanna let you know, it's sort of the thrill of trying to get things done quickly when it comes to skateboarding and having to worry about people kicking you out. You just wanna get it. I thought I was on candid camera. I don't know if that was an accident. You're on candid camera. Hey, congratulations, you're on candid camera. No way. Yeah! What? I literally can't believe it. I've never been, uh, only one time in my life I've been on something like this. Believe it. Wait, you've been on something like this before? Huh, yeah, 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 one time, but this is like way sicker. Right, okay, well the, the camera's recording, so maybe try to like, what's up? Yeah, try to be, try to be more like, Right, yeah, I've never, actually, this is the first time ever. I've never been on, this is blowing my mind. That's right, there's a first time for everything. And guess what you win today, young sir man? Young sir man, that's what my dad calls me. You know where your dad got that from? Huh? John, young sir man. I am your dad. I am your dad. Come here. I haven't seen you in. 23 minutes, I know. Come here. Give me a kiss. Hug. I'd love to give you a kiss hug. Anyways, it's always lovely for John to see his dad again, but the actual truth of that is I was on, I don't know if it was Candy Camera, but it was some type of show like that. There were these kids at our local gas station and they were grabbing food off of the shelves and throwing them on the ground. 
And they were literally stomping all over the candy. And then of course the guys at the register were like, hey, uh, what, uh, 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 And I've never seen this footage before, but I walked up and I literally told these kids that they were stupid. <laughs> Correction, I didn't say they were stupid. I said, what are you guys doing? And they said, we're stomping on these candies. And I was like, oh, that's really stupid. You shouldn't do that. Anyways, the second I said that this producer or this guy ran up and he was just like, oh, I'm sorry, it's just a game show, we'll pay for the candy. And he's like, grab whatever the candy is, kids, put it on the counter and we'll pay for it. But I was fairly embarrassed because I definitely wasn't nice and it was definitely documented, but I definitely have no idea where it is, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, random transition back to the apartment just for a minute, but on my Instagram, I was asking people what they think they could do at skate parks for new skateboarders to seem like they're better than they are, or at least not look as um, beginner-ish. But for the sake of a good YouTube title, I'm gonna use the word poser, but in reality, I'm just trying to give good advice for people out there who wanna go to skate parks and work on certain tricks that sort of have the aesthetic of being better than you are. So on my Instagram story, I put out the question and these are what people replied and I'll give my opinion on what I think is a good idea or not. Right off the bat, I got a lot of no complies. This one is by Cowent Jess. No comply 180 is a trick that makes you look good at skateboarding and it's relatively easy and I totally agree with that. It isn't that hard of a trick to learn. In my opinion, you could probably learn a no comply 180 before uh, the amount of time it takes you to learn how to kickflip. But it's something that everyone at skate parks still do and then people do them switch as well well, but everyone's still doing it. At this point, it's become a very normal trick in skating, but it still gives the aesthetic as if you have more control of your board because it's not just a, an ollie and you can do it simply and make it look easy and it just, it gives that impression. Now this one is by Joker X, and he says basically any flip trick with a 180 or 360 rotation. Well, yeah, I mean th those are much more difficult than just doing a simple kick flip, doing a backside flip or a frontside flip, but it does seem like a lot of people avoid learning those. So nowadays, seeing difficult flip tricks is actually kind of refreshing. There are tactics you can use at skate parks to just appear like you're a local destroyer of the parks, but working on a 180 flip trick takes effort and time and patience. So along with the wall rides, Skr Milk and Casey Beats both say the same thing. Wallies, you don't necessarily have to know how to ollie to do a wallie, which is you can go out of a bank and hit a straight wall and use that as a extra launch and go over it. You don't technically need to be able to be that good at even an ollie to be able to do that. With that wallie, you can do it more and more powerful and make it look like you're more of an aggressive skater and that you have more control of your board, when in reality you're just sort of writing off something and making it look good. And slappies are the same thing. A lot of people won't take the time to get consistent and good with them, so if you do that, it seems like you're on another level of skating, and it's not that hard to figure out. Now this guy, Dog Lover 74 uh, calls them the hipster tricks. So, no comply 180s, he adds, but also body burials out of 50-50s. Now I did a video not too long ago about body burials, and I was doing them out of tricks, and I was new to it, and it was extremely, Easy. The same thing goes with a manual. It's not very hard to just turn your feet because you don't actually have to ollie. You just have to make sure your feet levitated a little bit, turn them, and land it. At this point, so many body burial variations have been beat into the ground, but there's still definitely creative ways to approach this concept. The late body burials where people ollie, start going down, and then turn is brilliant and very difficult. That same person actually added switch front shoves, which is funny because that was a very simple trick, in my opinion, to learn, and I think for most people it is as well but nowadays it has this extra pristine if you do them correctly or you scoop it a certain way, a switch frontside shove it is sort of a cool trick now. And then this last one, I wanna say Young Vamp says he thinks a good, clean, no slight to fakey, which I agree. I think doing these basic tricks that you learn almost right off the bat that you usually forget about as you go along. If you do those tricks in a cool way, not just a no slide and you land, but you no slide and then you nolly out like this. It, it's not that much harder to sit there and figure out how to make that trick look that much better, but people will appreciate it because usually when people learn a trick, they move on to the next. So to really refine one trick is pretty cool. These are legitimate tricks that people appreciate. So if you are newer to skating, you can go down this route and try these tricks and yeah, most people will look at them and be like, that is awesome, that's solid. If you realize that they're fun to do and you have fun doing those certain tricks too, just icing on the cupcake.
be honest. Let's go. All right, so since I'm a young savage who likes to live life on the edge, I'm just kidding, I'm sorry for saying that. It is definitely gonna rain in just a minute, and I'm gonna see if I can make it about three miles on this boosted board without getting poured on it. And if it happens, this will get ruined, my life will get ruined, my camera will get ruined, my balls will get Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. You're fine. That's like a picture Yeah, yeah. I know exactly. I watch you. Oh, no, you're and chilling, you're chilling. My God. This sucks. Oh. Okay, here we are at the Empire. Oh, you literally <laughs> almost killed me. If you would have done that, I would have just been like this. This camera down? It's creepy. It just sits there and watches me all day. Well, when you leave. It was actually a total accident. Imagine me just being like, I don't like this. This is my Out of my face. Let me break that. Okay, I'm sorry. This is our only pet. We really should really think about really maybe getting an actual pet, like a Kit Kat or a Kit Dog. Let's... I, we can't do a dog because we don't have time. And if a cat can take care of itself for a couple weeks at a time, then we could get a cat. A couple days at a time. We should fill out the... Um... Caplication? <laughs> yes, the caplication, but for fostering. So we can make sure that your allergies aren't due to a cat. Because remember you dying? I do. One time I died because I was around a cat. Was it a cat or was it a combination of cats and Texas? I'm gonna blame Texas and your parents' house and you. Hi guys. Should I just end the video? Yeah. Welcome to the vlog. Sarah Bell. And this is your mama. That does actually look just like my mom. Furry and brown. All right guys, thank you for tuning in to another video. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel. <laughs> And also, if you haven't checked out the new Progress Daily merch, this is not an example of it. Check it out in the description down below. And also, thank you for everyone who submitted uh, statements to my Instagram about what this video is about. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the love and support and all the tuning in to all the stuff that I'm putting out right now, which is a lot of content. And I'm excited about it. Instagram, every single day. YouTube, every single day. Progress Daily, every single day. We're always just doing new things. So for me, I'm finally ending a video early. It's only 3 p.m. just so I can finally work all day on the new progress daily stuff launching aka website all this cool stuff that you will see it's gonna be pretty rad oh, guys shut see you tomorrow oh you're just talk 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 oh. it's hard to like oh. <laughs> did i get you oh! all right guys i love you so much progress daily and keep going up. subscribe my link is in the channel below. Excuse me? It's in the equipment <laughs> below. <laughs> guys, if you guys want to see more Sarah, Stop. put hashtag more Sarah in the comments below because I don't think John loves me Actually, anymore. let us know what you think about a joint channel. You just hit me directly <laughs> so in my wiener. Like, so perfectly. What would you guys think about a joint channel, Sarah and I? Let us know down below. All right, bye.